Reed Detmers leads the Angels onto the field. Yeah, Reed Detmers. I'm looking for him to have a big game here tonight against a very deep lineup. We saw what they do as far as going with pitches the other way for Detmers. Hard hit on the ground. Backhand stop. Escobar plants and throws a strike. Good throw from Escobar to get Richmond at first. Yeah, nice play there by Escobar on the backhand. A long, long throw across the diamond. Get that out. Hayes rolls one to short. Kyron Paris flips to second. Now I got to run away from Gooby. <laughs> Who's carried them? Luis Renjifo has been very good along with Nolan Shawnwell, and they'll have to be good against Dean Kramer, who's been great. But he has pitched real well. And again, as we mentioned, you give up 12 runs in your last seven starts, you're really pitching lights out. Shawnwell the other way to left center. This is easily tracked down by Ryan McKenna. Got to start in center field tonight. It's 1 2 for Drury. And he strikes him out swinging. It was the cutter. An appropriate way for Dean to pick up his first strikeout. And Ray Hifo drives one the other way. Left center field. Hayes and McCann are back there. And it's Austin staggering into it. So Dean Kramer picks up a 1-2-3 first inning. Doffs his cap to his left fielder after a fine play. One out brings up Logan O'Hoppy. Now he drives one out toward left center field. Austin Hayes after this in the gap. It's over his head and off the base of the fence. Hoppy driving a couple of balls in that plate appearance. He has the Angels first hit tonight. It's a one out double. And that baseball was squared up a sinker down. You remember that pitch before was right on the outside corner at the knee. So he tracked those eyes down on that sinker. And he was on top of that one and lines it off the wall. Richard down to third. That's a fair ball to Henderson. The long throw is an accurate one. A couple of assists for Gunnar Henderson. Kramer and Detmers matching zeros through two. Jorge Mateo, nine batter today. Had a base hit score the first run in the third inning yesterday. Mateo well, yeah. drills it up the middle. What a terrific at bat yeah. that was. And Jorge Mateo continues to find his swing. Yeah, scored the first run uh, yesterday. And again, a little single and crisp line drive back up the middle. Threat to steal at first. Hadley grounded out to third base his first time. Really good season against lefties. There goes Mateo. He timed it well. And Mateo's got an easy steal. The Oriole team leader with number 27 in 31 tries. So the count's one ball, one strike. Runner at second. As Rutschman strokes one to the left side, base hit. Mateo gets the green light around third from Tony Mancellino, and the throw is way off line. Rutschman up to second. Speed once again succeeds for Jorge Mateo and the Orioles. He swipes second after the hit. And Rutschman drives him in with the game's first run. And the next batter now will be Mountcastle. Got a base hit his first time up. And right on cue, he hits a pitch into left oh, field off the lefty. And Gritchick bobbles it. And Rutschman's going to come home. And Gritchick this time will not throw home. Two runs in the inning for the Orioles. Just keep Pepper in left field. It seems to be working. And they've got a 2 nothing lead. So there's another line drive. Almost. The same as Adley hit, and then he just boxes it, and then already heaved one all the, almost all the way back to the backstop. I'm not making another bad throw. The Orioles go up 2 0. Here's Santander. Now a chance for Anthony to keep the line moving. Has a drive to left from Santander. Let's see if Richard can handle this one as he makes the catch. Two outs. Tagging from first base and advancing to second or trying to. And out at second base is Mountcastle. Well, he might check that one just to make sure he's staying there at second base. He thought he might have got his foot in there. Richuk who made an error earlier in the inning to allow Rutschman to score. Trying to make up for it with that throw to second base. Ooh, real close. And that will end the inning. Mountcastle tagged out. Now Westberg will bat. He struck out his first time. Finds this one to right center field for a base hit. And Hifo cuts it off, fires it towards second base. They're going to wave the runner around. Hayes is coming home. Great throw by Tyron Paris. And Hayes is out by a mile. They were anticipating him not being in position to make the throw. Paris quickly, he remembered. Remember that game up in Oakland. Another good swing there by Westberg going the other way, but gets it in quickly. Paris right away in position to make a perfect throw to the dish. It's one of those growing experiences for Reed Deppers. Have to get through this inning now. You've had a a good relay throw at the plate, get it out, but you got to get through this one right now. It's lifted toward left center field. Gritchick moves over, backing up. He makes the catch. And that ends the inning. No runs for the Orioles despite three hits in the top of the fourth. Gritchick maintained his with his home run last night. Now a chance to do some damage here with two men on. And a ground ball to shortstop. A tail over the first. And he can indeed 
get Britchick out. Four scoreless for Kramer. The Orioles up by two. So two straight walks for Kramer. Had not walked to batter his last two starts. He's put on three tonight at the second straight inning. The Angels have two runners reach after Kramer retired the first two. Bounced off the glove of Kramer. It falls behind the mound. Everybody's safe. And if he lets that go, that's going to be a routine out. Sometimes you just react. That's why you always look back to see where your middle infielders are set up. And that's going to get him out of the game. So four and two thirds shutout for Kramer, but a walk, a walk, an infield single. And the Orioles will turn to the bullpen earlier than they've been used to of late. Big spot coming up for CNL Perez. And a ground ball pulled to second. Jordan Westberg is there, and CNL Perez hops over the foul line, getting out of this bases loaded jam. We go to inning number seven, and Reed Detmers is. Still out there. He's thrown 88 pitches. First one here. It's lined by Hicks in the left field. It's going to drop a few feet in front of the Angels left fielder, Randall Gritchick. So the leadoff man in the inning, seven hole hitter, Aaron Hicks, is on. That's his second hit tonight. He had a hit last night. Two balls, two strikes on Jorge Mateo. Round to third. Escobar with a backhand gets it to second one. Mateo can fly, and he's safe at first. You can almost guarantee he's going to be on the move, probably the first pitch. Rutschman is due up, and Phil Nevin's on his way to the mound. Reed Detmers has made it through six and two-thirds innings. 98 pitches. Phil Nevin will take Detmers out of the game, and Jimmy Herget will face Rutschman from the left side. So on a 1-0 count, they're going to go ahead and walk Rutschman and set up a righty righty matchup with Ryan Mountcastle. Round to third, down the line. Escobar with a backhand racing to the back, beats Mateo. And that's the final out of the inning. Shonowell on base three times again tonight. Two hits total for him. Now Drury represents the tying run. Line to left center, base hit for Drury. That one rolling all the way to the wall. Shonowell's on his way to third. He's being waved home. Shonowell will make it easily. Brandon Drury gets the Angels on the board. RBI double, and it's 2-1. to one. Well, he's been so clutch. 23 doubles, 20 home runs, a couple triples. Mike Moustakis with two down. Moustakis with a line drive to right. That's a base hit. Drury around third. He comes home. That's the tying run. Mike Moustakis makes it 2-2. Two two. Moose, loose again. Clutch moment. Line drive. Tie ball game. Logan O'Hoppy down to third. Henderson from foul ground. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> a bazooka from Gunner. I tell you what, I don't care if you're in the Oriole dugout or the Angel dugout, you're going, how did this kid make this play? Two balls and two strikes on Trey Cabbage. Ground ball, base hit! In the right field, Escobar scores. The Angels have the lead. It's three to two. Cabbage found a patch in the outfield for a base hit and RBI. Oh, you've been waiting all year. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> and the go-ahead run is Ryan O'Hearn. Tying run at second, one out. Drilled to the left, uh, left side and a base hit. Ryan O'Hearn does it again. We are tied in the ninth. And a big one there because now the Orioles can take the lead with a hit. Right field, Ryan. That's a base hit. Here comes O'Hearn. He'll score. And here go these crazy comeback kids. Can you believe it? Of course you can. They're the Orioles. It's 4-3 in the night. I run at second base when he fell. Hoppy runs well for a catcher at first. He's the winning run. Lined up the middle. It's a base hit in the center field. When he fell around third, the game is tied again. It's 4-4. Four four. And we have extras tonight. And it'll be up to Jordan Westberg. Now they will play their infield in. And a slow ground ball here. This could be a tough play for Renjifo, and he will have no play at the plate. Westberg puts it on the ground. The Orioles reclaim the lead at 5-4. to four. And Randall Gritchick, the tying run, moves to third with one out. The rookie Trey Cabbage, who tied it in the eighth. And down goes Cabbage. Fujinami slices him to bits with nothing but high, hot heat. Did it go? Yes. He, he sure he did. did. Shintaro <laughs> Fujinami saves the day, and the Orioles survive one of the wildest rides of the season in Anaheim.